traders. Well, 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 what can I say? Uh, we have got day number six highlights here, and we've got four days left. We've got today, Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, end of the week, and then Monday is our final day of the competition. You know what? We've got a three-day winner or three-day leader now. Bilal is still in the lead, 26238 for Bilal. Marco in second place at 19459 just a little bit a uh, little bit behind and uh, you can see here on the right side previous rank number one so our leader sticks in the first place spot but Marco's come up previous spot 204 now number two so big huge move to Marco props to Marco great job we do have uh, David who is number eight moved up to number three Jen Long was number 10, moved up to number 4. Congratulations, Jen. Doing a great job. Biagio, uh, number 7, moving up to number 5. And big move for Andy F. Previously 233rd, moved up to number 7. Had a great, great, great day. And uh, that's our leaderboard, day number 6, coming into day number 7 tomorrow. Now, yesterday we had 53 people eliminate themselves due to the daily loss limit, 11, 11 for maximum loss or maximum drawdown, and then eight, still people still don't get it, eight people on the overnight positions, total of 72 dropping out. For the total, we're creeping up on 1,000 thousand clients that have, uh, that have uh, been knocked out of the event. And you can see right here, here's our daily eliminations. We started like we've been talking about with the gamblers moving out day one, day two, starting to get tight, and we just keep going lower and lower and lower now. Uh, day number six, again, total number of people that have been moved out or eliminated, 72. Almost the exact number as we saw yesterday, um, but a noticeable increase due to reaching the maximum loss. So we see there are people trying to push the accelerator pedal down and take a little bit more risk with about four days left in the competition here for the daily eliminations. It looks like it. we have people so, from let's take, um, ranked at uh, over 200 and now in the leading 10. Interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Making big moves, and I think people are taking bigger risks. And you're going to have to do that somewhat if you want to win the competition a little bit more risk on as we get closer to the end. Position yourself to where you have a chance to win. Let's take a look at what the, the leader did. The first place trader yesterday traded only one symbol, one symbol, CY, shorted 10,000 shares in three increments. You see there 2,000, 2,000, and 6,000, and covered the entire position with a loss. So two days ago in the making a small profit with this symbol, and yesterday suffering a loss, but uh, Bilal is, is definitely feeling that pressure as we get to uh, get to move four days left into the contest here, uh, trying to protect his title, but again, you can't be too can't be too conservative going into the last couple of days. Otherwise, people may beat you. But hopefully, Bilal's got a game plan here for the last couple of days moving into the uh, to the contest here. Now, if you look at second place, only traded one stock, Mayor. So both first and second place, I think. Have got are a little bit scared and a little bit more protective. They only traded one stock, CTRM, shorted for whatever reason 21,700 shares in five transactions, and uh, 1,700 shares, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, and 5,000, and covered the whole position towards the ending end of the trading day with a big profit. Now, one of the things that I did notice here that okay, you're you're adding, you're adding, you're adding, okay, but Look at this. They're shorting, right? So they started off short at $7.77, short at, at the break of 7, shorting again at 692, at 661, and roughly 664. This is the only one that kind of went up on them. But they're adding to a winning trade. I love that. Adding to a winning trade and then buying to cover way down here, way down here at less than $6. So first entry at 777 covering everything at 596 towards the end of the day great trading in my opinion 
for our second place trader. Second place is uh, uh, Marco, who came up 204 from 204th to number two and did that trading just one stock. So I really, really enjoyed that. Props to you, uh, Marco, as, uh, as that is the, uh, definitely a great, great way to, uh, to trade it. Adding to a winner, we often talk about how many people add to a loser, but Marco added to a winner and got paid for it. And then third place, a bit different strategy here. Third place took four stocks, Box here, LK, and Soli. Still can't get rid of that SOLY. Took long positions in SOLY throughout the day. Uh, traded between 1,000 and 2,000 shares, mostly profitable, um, generated by this stock. So again, shorted Box in partials and then took both long and short positions on LK and made a profit. So, um, and then here was a loss, a losing trade. You can see the quantity here, 1,000, 2,000 shares, 1,500 shares. That's our third place trader. You can see here 5,000 shares for our second place trader. And our first place trader, 2,000, 2,000, and 6,000. So the quantity of shares has gone up and uh, the traders are trading to make a difference and to make a difference in their position for the uh, for the competition so just a couple of comments here uh, as we close out this morning uh, on the contest remember what I've said all along consistency is going to win the competition be consistent be profitable also uh, just a warning out there for our first place uh, player right now don't be too conservative okay because a, uh, a, a a good good defense does not always win the game so you're going to have to balance that uh, holding on to the lead with trading. And uh, hopefully you can last for the next four days here. It's going to be interesting. And to all of the traders that are out there that still have an account, that are still in the game right now, please don't give up. Okay, you've got a just as good a chance for somebody that's moving from 204th place, was it? 204th place all the way up to number two. There's an opportunity for anybody out there to have a big day big trading. We've got two IPOs that are set to come tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see if any of the traders in the top 10 or in the top 20 make a move into any of the IPOs tomorrow if they give us an opportunity. So how many traders left, Ernesto? I believe we're just under or just at 2,000 right now. 2,000. So and to Clifton's point, from 204th place up to number two, you can do it too. You can also do it. So again, you can also position yourself. The, the, uh, the top 20, 5,804. 5,804. So wherever your profits are for the week, for the competition, I mean, 5,804 gets you into the top 20. To get into the top 10, just $9,000 of profit. $9,000 of profit. So that'll tell you kind of where you're positioned and where you need to go in the last four days. Again, today... We've got the morning session almost in the books. You've got this afternoon, you've got tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and then all day Monday to get into this and to make it happen. Okay? Mayor, any comments on it? Well, today? it looks to me uh, quite interesting to see, you know, out of 2,000 traders, if you take a good look at uh, the first uh, 20, you can, you can see that uh, other than these two newcomers from the 200s, that uh, the rest are keeping position. I mean, the fact that uh, a person was uh, among the first 20 or 40, as you can see here, 20, 30, 40, 10, um, if, if, if they manage to keep their position among the first 20, they're doing a good job, consistent. Um, and as you said, consistent, consistency finally wins, uh, probably. Well, we'll have to see the end result. And there's, of course... Um, Two newcomers from the 200, from over 200, and they just um, reached the first 10, which is again interesting to see that uh, even if you're not in the first 200, and you can still reach uh, a higher rank. Uh, so it still lets us uh, tells us that uh, everything can change until the last day, really until the last day. So it's interesting to see the consistency. It's also interesting to see how people. Um, are kind of changing their plans and moving forward. Very interesting to see. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, traders, congratulations for those that are in the top 20. Those that are in the top 10 are going to be awarded uh, some of, uh, one of our accounts, one of our uh, packages, and uh, we look forward to doing that. Again, lots of time left, lots of time left to make that move. Uh, again, we've got until Monday, so take it with a grain of salt. Keep trading, keep the focus, keep consistent in what you're doing, and the payoff is going to be there for you. And uh, Michael, uh, Boris is okay. uh, sadly eliminated from the with the, with the Mac loss. I, you know what? Uh, Bo Boris uh, did great, but if I were yep. in his place, I mean, why would you get to the point, Boris? Come on, hope you're hearing me now. I mean, you 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 kept to the first ten, right? I mean, the first places really. Um, why would you get to the point? Where you take a risk of getting over three thousand dollars? I'm not. I mean, I wouldn't even. I w if I were you, I wouldn't even get close to two thousand dollars, just to make sure that a spike doesn't take me out. Wouldn't even get close to two thousand dollars. Just you know, lower your size. Keep the cards cards close to your chest. Be careful. I really wonder how it messed up for you. Well probably a part of this game. Interesting.